good evening. I'm Tiro. And here's where we left off. This was the box for the final ribbon. And actually it's just a hop, skip, and a jump away. But, you know, it's nice to explore things. That's how we learn. Well, actually, learning is exploring and remembering what you did. Which sometimes doesn't happen. Alright, let's kick ya. Zagor! <laughs> what? <laughs> Ew. <laughs> Wonderful. Alrighty, let's put you to the scrap heap like everyone else. And here is Belor. The is it Belor? I don't know. Probably pronounce it but it's like more like <laughs> He just casts Magma, Nuke, and Tail. And it's basically the same. Use Mystic Swords, Heal, Wash, Wins, Repeat. Wince, rinse. Sorry about that. That's kind of interesting because he looks more like a traditional Japanese demon with the normal face and the face on the torso. Not very impressive for being a number two guy. Hey, what you gonna do? Alrighty, eh, so this is the same old same also, uh, Wiggles. And you know what, Belor? You're a nice warm up to Zagor. Thank you. <laughs> Only Saul can stop the entity. We must hurry. Yes. And what happened to all the scary music? Yeah, bad direction. But with that nice little piece from Belor, we finally find the crux of the plot. Zagor's the ocean, and the pure water entity is actually putrid water flooding the entire world, so Zagor's pouring himself out into uh, reality, distorting it. Pretty sick. And now he wants to possess Saul, and we all know what happens when the people try to take over a god's power. But come to think of it, Saul is a god already, so isn't that a double negative? A god possessing a god. Hmm, any mythology like that? Ugh, I don't know. I'll probably go insane trying to measure the dis difference. Oh, and you all go away. And now, hey, quit interrupting me. I know we're going to try to kill your boss, metaphorically and literally, but hey, we're heroes. That's our job. Ah, the final showdown. So, until next time, I'm Tiro. And have fun gaming. See ya.